How are you both? Hey, good. good. How, are, How you? are you? Well, just thank you. Um, really enjoying. Well, I've only seen the first couple of episodes of season seven, but it's really great so far. I mean, where I'm going to ask, I mean, there's so much drama and bad luck has befallen Brianna and Roger across the years. With a second baby now on the way, please tell me things are looking up. Please. They are looking up, aren't they? Right off the bat. They look they're up looking, for a second. They're looking good yeah. for a minute there. I won't lie to you. Uh, um, things seem stable. Yeah, I think they definitely deserve some happiness. I mean, I think for Brie at least, I won't speak for, for Richard and Roger, but I think there's not really much a person could go through that she's not been through. Um, so I think it's lovely this season that they start out. It's such a strong team. The Mackenzie family is brilliant and it's building, it's growing. Um, and so, yeah, we definitely get a moment of peace and just enjoying the pure joy that these two characters definitely deserve. But it is Outlander. So, yeah, it's not all sunshine and roses. And um, it's definitely not sunshine and roses for long. Maybe. Nice. It might be. You don't know. It, it might, might be. be. You never know. You they never could know. could start a small farm. Yeah. Elderly they farmhouse could. and live happily ever after with our two kids. It'd be maybe, quite a good musical family, wouldn't they? We'd, they would be. I like Brianna and Roger would definitely be those pushy parents. We'd be like, come on, kids. We're doing they a family They would have a family band. They'd have a family band. They would. Sure. It's so sad, but I'm and they might yet. They should. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I think we sing the theme song for the final season. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. Look at that. There you go. That is a, good, that is a really good idea. Yeah. But I was, in a while, I, I was reading that you've both, I mean, you're both not far off 50 episodes on this show. I just wonder what you're going to say off 50. 50. I was like, like come on. Jesus. on <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, yeah, wow. Did you ever envisage when you signed up to this that this could be something that was such a huge commitment and such a huge part of your lives? Yeah, I mean, when we signed, we I guess we were lucky in that we already knew what we were getting ourselves into. They'd already done season one. We already knew that it was a worldwide phenomenon. So we knew what we were signing up for and how long we were signed, obviously because of COVID and other things. Season six was shorter and pushed and things like that. Um, but we knew we were signing for seven seasons and seven years. And obviously we had the books. We were both quite geeky. We'd read the books or at least the first few, just to know that where we were, where our characters would be going. And I mean, Brianna and Roger are actually in the books. I think it's book four, they're in more than Jamie and Claire, aren't they? So we kind of knew that it was going to be intense and we knew that it was going to be a, a four-hander holding up, helping hold up the show. Um, so yeah, this has been a fun season for us because um, yeah, season six, we didn't really manage to get around to Roger and Brianna's stuff, what with it being cut short. So this is kind of, uh, kind of our, season to show a bit more Roger and Brie, isn't it? And how far they've come and the family life. A few years ago, I interviewed Maisie Williams from Game of Thrones. And she said that, because obviously when you're tied to a kind of series that you're making kind of once every year, you can't really change a huge much of your kind of appearance. You have to stay quite similar. And I think she said the first thing she wanted to do was dye her hair green when it was all over. We're kind of approaching the end for you guys. Have you got something similar or kind of something you'd love to to do that you kind of felt you haven't been able to? Well, across I mean, I know Maisie. Maisie's cool. Like Maisie's brave with the green and she can pull that off. I'm not that cool. I'm <laughs> in the blonde. But um, yeah, we have wigs. But I think... It's quite a funny thing, actually, because this season we did, we shot for a year, but we had a tiny break in between the first and second half, didn't we? Or what is now the first and second half of the season? We didn't know it was going to be broken up. Um, but I, for one, I mean, I tan, you went away. Well, you've actually, you burned. I tan quite easily. And so when I came back, I was a little like Brianna suddenly. Yeah, Brianna suddenly. Is a lot it. darker. Yeah. And um, obviously like a bit of Spanish blood in me, so it just goes really brown. And I was like, here's Brianna just with her red hair and super tan skin um so yeah there's definitely things like that we have to be careful of but i feel like we would just be the type when it's over we're just gonna go and just eat just like mm. everything See, just i would like love everything. that i mean if i wasn't an actor i would eat everything all the time <laughs> i would i would i'd be pegging out in new york like there was no tomorrow we'd actually do runs we'd go on runs together sometimes wouldn't we in other seasons and like then go and get pizza and ice cream and we're like we've just negated everything that we yeah just but the running is just to offset a small portion of what we're going to eat yeah the it's pepperoni just, slice just, on the pizza it's, yeah, it's, it's, about just, all it's to there. help it's to help prepare us for the so, day so anything crazy yeah we'd probably just go on holiday just drink and get fat yeah I'm thinking, well i'm not I'm thinking gray by the time i finish outlander <laughs> not by choice do you dye yours now no no why no <laughs> it's great it's great it's great, it's great. yeah See what I did there. Well, I'm I'm not an actor, and I pig out all the time. So you're right. If it's, it's a great it's a great way to live. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it's a bit it's embarrassing like... when you come back off a hiatus and you don't fit in your corset anymore. 
And I was yeah, like, I've not had that issue myself. Sorry. No, you do not wake <laughs> yeah, up. But so it is much. a steady gauge. Your costume is a steady gauge of just yeah, where you're at in life. You can tell. One week yeah. to the next. Yeah. How you've kind of been. It's like yeah. when that, because they are, obviously it's nothing compared to the costs. They look so restrictive and tight. But yeah. even just the costume pants are kind of weird. And they have the button in several places. And sometimes yeah. the button might just pop on yeah. the floor. And you think, On the oh, back of my dress, I have. Oh, it's been a heavy weekend. <laughs> <laughs> on the back of my dress I have a hook and eye and sometimes if it's getting a little strained shall we say it just bends and then it won't hook anymore and I'm like oh okay that was yeah that's Monday Monday yeah. for you well, we're talking of heavy weekends um, well, it was more of a heavy trip but Sam because I interviewed Sam and Graham a few years ago about there they went on oh, that trip sorry. <laughs> yeah <laughs> they, they, they did that um, trip around Scotland they did that great little documentary yeah. where about their whiskey and so I just wondered if you guys uh, after this was all over had to do a documentary together what do you think it would be about <laughs> imagine oh putting us in a van for two weeks <laughs> we would be the UK. Well, we kind of, do you know what? It's funny you say that, actually, because we always talk about this. Season two, we're doing a scene where Roger and Brianna have kind of just met each other and they're going on their little road trip around Scotland. And we were actually just giggling and just we just chat absolute rubbish, don't we? And hypothesise absolute rubbish and get into debates. And it's always super funny. And we were absolutely wetting ourselves. We were laughing so much in the car. Didn't realise that they were shooting and actually made it into the season. So I, I feel like if there was one for us... Um... I can just imagine I was on a road trip. Do you remember when we drove around part of Australia? Do you remember the day you went in a really bad mood? You got in to drive the car and crashed it. Yeah. Yeah, it was in reverse <laughs> and I didn't realise. Yeah. Are you just going to sat we there were in shock? Like, like... <sighs> That's the thing. I think us and too much time together, we just like, you know what, you're, you're walking the rest of the way. I'll see you at the destination. But what would our thing be, though? What would our thing be? I feel it like would historical be... stuff was fun, like when when we went, when you were looking yeah, up and stuff from Roger. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah we'd do like a history that's show, true. I think, but it would be so fun. It'd be like horrible, what was it, horrible histories? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. We'd do that, but like the Brianna and Roger fun, geeky but fun version. We'd make a good go- goggle box, actually. Yeah, goggle, sort of goggle underground box. Goggle history box. of certain places. Mm-hmm. The yeah, just put like a little, we wouldn't make it, like just put a little cam in the car though. Let's just do it, you know, old school styles. You'd be great as a, you know, the celebrity goggle box. I think it's a really good idea. You would be really good on goggle box, actually. Yeah. That would actually be hilarious. Imagine Brooklyn Nine Nine on goggle box. That would be great. Actually, I'm into that. I'm into that. Be awkward if you had to watch Outlander, though, wouldn't it? On goggle box. No, it wouldn't be awkward because Richard would be like, "Whoa, this show's really cool." I didn't know that happened. <laughs> Who the hell is that guy? <laughs> No, that's not true. I watch Outlander on a very regular basis. That would be. Uh, I'd have You're a like, Brianna has a brother. What? <laughs> I, well, it's a very funny question, actually, because I've got more time for one more. But, I mean, so if you're looking at... Because, obviously, I'm clearly never satisfied. I'm already looking ahead to season eight. But ahead of the final season, what have you got your eyes on to take home as a souvenir? It's the final season. There must be something you've been looking at throughout the whole time and you're on set that you go, at the end, I'm, na- I'm nagging at. So I'm really quite sentimental, and I actually think I would want to take Ellen's pearls. Mm. Um, also, I just think that they were given to Brenna in a time... Um, that she really needed them and you made know, her feel not safe. Real, right? Although it kind of got cut from the show. They're not real. They're not. No. What do you mean? The pearls. The pearls. They're not real. They're not real pearls. No, they're. Oh pops. my god! I feel cheated. Oops. What would Roger take? Would you take your little plane? Well, yeah. If I was feeling sentimental, yeah, probably the plane. And do you know what? I probably will end up feeling sentimental when it comes to rapper on season eight. I know that I'll probably, you know, there will be a sad, a deep sadness. Mm. But I think I would. I've got my eyes on Jamie's leather, brown leather jacket, which is just mm. the most ridiculous jacket and doesn't really belong in the 18th century. It looks like it was made. I'm taking the kids. Staff, but it's such a cool jacket. I'm going to adopt my kids. I'm taking yeah. them. Yeah. I'm taking the children. They're mine now. Mm. Our cars, <laughs> our period cars. Mm. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> I'm going to keep an eye on now for, for Gogglebox. I think you'd be great on that. I really do. We'll start the petition now, yeah? Cool. Well, thanks so much for the final season. Thanks, buddy. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.